Hey everyone, welcome back to Time Frontline. Jay here with a special advanced review of Doomsday Clock number one. The title of this issue is That Annihilated Place. It is written by Jeff Johns with art by Gary Frank, colors by Brad Anderson, letters by Rob Lee, with main cover by Gary Frank and Brad Anderson. The clock is ticking and the end is here. This is a spoiler free advanced review. So the story goes, it's as you saw in the Ash Camp preview that you can read for yourself through our through our site, Comic Frontline, in the description below. The story takes place on November twenty second or twenty third in nineteen ninety two, which is an important date. Not just in a twenty five, um, not just that is twenty five years ago, but uh, when this issue is released, but it's is also fifty four years after. John F. Kennedy was assassinated, and three days after the death of Superman, which went on sale November 19th, 1992. Why do these matter? Well, this book, like Watchmen, has political themes and undertones to it, and Superman is often seen as a metaphor for Jesus Christ, who was also risen from the dead three days after his death. Could this tell us something about this story? I think the story did a good job keeping me engaged, Wanting to um, wanting me to know more, and this issue only tease what's to come. I get a story four and a half stars. The art is great. Not only do you get um, the feel of Watchmen by the art, with uh, which Gary Frank and Brad Anderson do a great job in looking here, but they also give you the feel of Watchmen um, through the panels because um, Gary Frank goes one step further and. He models the panel layouts after the Watchmen uh, first issue. So it's set up the same way Watchmen was, which only adds to the nostalgic feel of the book. The arc is five stars. Overall, this was an incredible read, and when I finished it, I ripped through it again and again, and each time I noticed more things that I didn't see the first time around. But, like I said, this is the beginning um, of the story, and... As I said in the beginning of the review, this is just um, a spoilers free review. But I will hint that the ending features something that was mentioned um, but never explained yet. And it looks like it's about to be and may prove one of my theories correct. If you want spoilers, then tune in on Wednesday, November 22nd for my spoiler fr um, filled review at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. So, with the story getting four and a half stars and the art getting five stars, I give this an overall of four and three quarter stars and say pick this up because this is the next big thing. Well, those are my thoughts. Now I want to hear yours in the comments below. Also, like this video, subscribe to Comic Frontline, check out and subscribe to my channel, The Comic Book Theater, check out ComicFrontline.com, the site for previews, reviews, news, and interviews, along with fun, unique features with daily updates. Continue the conversation and join us on our Discord for free. Don't forget to like and follow me, The Comic Book Theater, Media Manus, and Comic Frontline on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. And don't forget to catch Frontline Live every Tuesday night right here on YouTube and download it every week on iTunes for free. I'll include all these links in the description below. Until then, I'll catch you in the next review.